How are you? Hope everyone's okay. How's our sippers? Welcome, Happy Sunday welcome. to you guys. We're doing a special, special artwork to commemorate the late Queen's passing. Yes, we are. It's going to be a special one today. It's going to be a We're special one. Paint lovely Paddington. 100%. In memory of our late lovely Queen. As you know, Paddington's popping up everywhere, everywhere in tributes to the Queen. Did you guys see the Jubilee where the Queen and Paddington Bear got together <laughs> in a little cheeky sip? Yes, I saw it. It was a nice little sketch. It was. Yeah. It was a lovely little sketch. <laughs> So yes, we are going to be painting this today. Um, we've got the lovely double rainbow in the background and lots of flowers on the floor, um, which happened on the actual um, day of the Queen's passing. And then we've got all the yeah, all the lovely flowers that we put down. Um, but you can change that up. You can change up the background if you wanted to. You could do something completely different in the background. Completely up to you. We want you guys to get creative with us. So Paddington Bear symbolizes what we love and symbolizes the late great queen. Paddington embodies so many values of what the Queen stood for. Things like kindness, toleration, mm. being kind to strangers, <laughs> politeness. And these are the things... And cheekiness. And cheekiness. Really little like cheekiness. <laughs> and these are the things that we at Art Sip is all about too. So we thought it would be a perfect occasion to paint Paddington Bear. So you guys can have a symbolic memory of a, a time like this, which is something that we've never experienced. We've only known the Queen. That's all I've ever known. So it'd be a nice symbol for everyone to remember and a, a sign of respect so that everyone can have this as a memory to, to keep forever. Yeah, put it up on your walls. Where are you going to put this? Have a little picture. Well, you're going to give it to someone. Yeah. It. Give it to your name. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go through the tools. Yes, so the tools and the rules for art siblings. All give right. us a little wave if you're in the comments today so we can see who's with us. So if you've got your art siblings virtual experience book, you need to grab your paint and your paintbrushes and your pencil and of course your canvas so if you put a canvas board or a stretch canvas grab your canvas and pop it out make sure you put everything all your tools ready so acrylic paints i'll be going through the colors you can as i said change up some of the colors maybe you want to do a different background these are the colors that we're going to be using if you've got pens or pencils at home you can totally use them instead you don't have to use paint so we have some white paint, we've got some yellow paint, orange, now I've popped a little bit of kind of pink, magenta there for the flowers, uh, it depends on what colour flowers you want on the floor, if you want to put flowers, red for the iconic red hat that Paddington wears. I've got two blues here, I've got a cerulean blue and a phthalo blue. If you don't have two different colour blues, that's fine. You can just pop some white paint into your dark blue and lighten it up that way. Burnt sienna. So sienna is like a brown. It's kind of a bit more of a reddy brown than the burnt umber. So it's like a reddy brown. And then black. So they're the acrylic paints. Be careful. Try not to get any of the acrylic paints on your clothes. Quite difficult to get acrylic paint out. Paint brushes. So we've got the big brush. The biggest brush, guys. The biggest brush. Go grab yours. If you've got even bigger brush, even better. Depends on the size of your canvas or your piece of paper. This is about A4 size. So you want a big brush to cover that entire background, especially big, large areas of the canvas. Medium brush. So you can use a little medium brush like this. It's got a round edge to it. You see it's got a little rounded edge. Or you could use the flat shader, which is a flat. This is a filbert. Use a flat one. That's quite good too. But I'm using the filbert today, so that's got a little rounded edge. Then a small brush. A little small brush. This is for the details, especially the little furry hair on Paddington Bear. That rhymes. Um, rhymes. Or some of the details, like the details on the coat. The latch. Latches are tied together. Pockets. The outline. Small brush. Pencil. We are going to sketch this out today, step by step. We're going to take it through, step by step. We're going to teach you how to do this, guys. Teach you how to do it. Paper towel to wipe your brushes and any excess paint. And tap water. So this is to wash your brushes. Look, it's already dirty in there, but I've got some clean water in there. Because we're going to be sipping, make sure you put your sip and your paint juice on the other side of the table. We're doing something royal today, so we're obviously sipping. A bit of royal tea. 
We all had a tea. A tea. English what are you breakfast guys tea. sipping? Are you sipping with us? A nice orange juice, a bit of water. Mm -hmm. This is great to have a bit of perspective. So every time you press it, it's just so you can pop your paints down and just have a moment to just be at peace. Have a look at your artwork, okay. see where you need to add, take away. It's a nice bit of reflection. Mm -hmm. It is a challenge today, so it's it a little is. bit difficult in it some is. areas, uh, but that's what we like to do. We like to challenge you, don't we? Out of five got. stars, how many stars would you say? This is quite difficult. There's some, it's, it's a little five bit stars? More, Mm, four stars. Four stars. We've got it. <laughs> There's some parts of it that can be quite difficult, but you will be able to do it definitely if you just kind of follow step by step. You're up for the Art Sitters Kids Challenge. You are. Yeah. You Who's are. up for it? We've got some talent. Come on, you definitely. Yeah. We've got Joshua. Hi, Joshua, Marika. How is it going? Yeah, if you can, um, just get your parents or guardians' consent for messaging into the comments. And if you are watching this back, hello. Hello there. Where are you guys? Are you based nice. around you the UK? You might be watching it back later so as well as all of that we have got a competition so let's go through the competition naughty we do. so not only do we have the art the sipping we've got competitions to be won <laughs> yes around me i'm standing inside the art sippers kids experience box so that's oh. what's up for grabs how'd you win it i hear you ask picture just got it in our hands right there so how'd you win it all you got to do is throughout the show i'm gonna be telling some Dad jokes, some artifacts all around Paddington Bear. If you can guess correctly, pop them into the comments over there. Is it this way? Which way? <laughs> this way. It's that way. <laughs> Got it wrong. If you pop the, the answers in the comments, the person who gets it right first, I'll put you in a hat. And then at the end of the show, I'll pick out one winner and you will win what is around Ooh. me. The Art Sippers Kids Box, so you can get RT whenever you want. Mm -hmm. I think that's a great little little, like present, little prize. Great prize. So, even if you don't get the right answer, if you make me laugh, mm -hmm. I'll put you in that as well. Because I just like a giggle. Who doesn't like a giggle? We all need a giggle, don't we? They're the rules. They're the tools. One more thing. What is our one rule picture? Okay, so we do have one rule. If we do take it seriously. That is no judgment. So That's no, it. no comparing your work to anybody else's or judging someone else's work, laughing at their work. Uh, try and withhold from judging yourself too harshly today. Like I said, it can be a little bit difficult in places. There might be times where you get it slightly wrong, but we all make mistakes and then we can easily fix them, especially in drawing. You can easily fix them. You've got a little bit of rubbing, you've got white paint to cover over any bad thing. So don't worry, just try and take it easy and no judgment. And with no judgment, we also need you to get into the art vibe. How do you get into the art vibe? You need to feel calm, collected, and peaceful. So before we get painting, can you do one thing for me? Can you stand up? Whoa. Stand up. Yes, everyone. We're going to be painting Paddington Bear, and he loves his travels, so you can stand up with me. So I want everyone to raise their hands in the air like they just don't care. And I want you to take a deep inhale through your nose. And then exhale, put your hands down. Ooh. It makes you feel powerful. That's what it does. It's called a power pose. That's what it's called. Hands in the air. Breathe it in through the nose. And exhale through the mouth. The quicker the better. Get out all that negative energy. And then we're going to do it one more time. Hands up. Breathe in the positivity. And exhale. The negativity. There we go. Give yourselves a round of applause. Yay. There we go. So, did, even, did we tell you who we are? I don't think you do. Do you know who we are? My name is Naughty. That's my name. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I'm, I'm Pitcher. Naughty Pitcher. Art <laughs> Sippers. Doing Paddington Bell. That's what we're doing for you guys today. Let's give them a little close up again before we yeah. start. There we go. So this is what we're about to sketch. So can you see we've got a little um, speech bubble here. Oh, what's in the message? This is, thank you, ma'am, for everything. Yes, Paddington is, just tweeted that as well. So, so, so lovely message. You can put any message you want inside. But you can put any message. message. Yeah, you can put your um, goodbye message. Or if you're giving this to someone else, you can put a different message maybe in there for them. Um, completely up to you. We're going to start sketching this out. But can you see that the speech bubble's this side? So instead of putting Paddington dead in the middle of the page today, we're going to put him slightly to the left-hand side. So just remember that. So we're going to move him slightly to just the left-hand side. Just a bit off center. Yep, so that we've got space for that speech bubble. If you do do it in the center, it's fine. I'm sure your speech bubble can just be a bit smaller. All right, let's get on with sketching. So what we're going to do first is we're going to mark out the middle of the canvas. We want to try and find the middle of the canvas 
There. Let's do it. Let's go for it. So grab your pencil. Pencils. We've got it in portrait. So this is landscape. We've got it portrait. Apparently Dexter's ready to paint. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Okay, Hello, let's find the middle of the canvas. It's round about here. This is just going to be a little grid line. So do a little dot. And then what you want to do is do a halfway line between here and here. About It's probably around about here. Do a, you can do a little dot there too. This is going to help us get the, the height of Paddington. Between here and here, try and find about middle way again. Do a little dot. This is where Paddington's feet are start uh, gonna kind of come in. The legs are gonna finish, and the feet are gonna come in about there. We don't need to do these. This is just to get the ideal kind of height of Paddington. Okay, so from this dot here, we're going to do a circle, and this is going to be Paddington's face. And he hasn't got a dead circle face. He's not just got straight up round face. He's got a kind of fluffy, fluffy face, doesn't he? But we're going to just do a circle for now. Don't want it too big. Do a circle. And when you're done with that circle, we're going to do a very, very, very light line. So we're going to rub this line out. So very, very gently do a line through the middle like that. So you don't want to do this too hard. Circles are really hard to do. So if you're struggling to do a circle, I've got a tip, guys. Do you know what you need to do? Straight away, have a cheeky sip. Have a yes, sip. That gives you the courage to do a perfect circle. It doesn't, but I just like to make you sip straight away. So we're doing the line down the middle and then we're going to cross it through the middle this way too. Very gently because this is, he doesn't actually have a cross through his face, does he know? So we do want to do a cross, up, cross, up and down, side to side. And this is going to give us the grid lines for his face. So the line here goes across and the eyes are going to be in the middle of the head. So we're going to do two little circles like this the eyes leaving a little bit of a gap this side and a little bit of a gap that side his uh, eyes actually go a little bit into a v shape in the corner so we want to do this little three i've never noticed that before. v shape so they're not just circle go a little bit down like that so just do almost like a little v shape turning it into a bit of a point in the corner now that's the most delicate part to paint later with the small brush now we're going to do this shape here which is almost like a little bit of a teardrop shape can you see it goes to a point comes out goes round and then it goes back up, and that's between the eyes there. So it goes in between the eyes. So what we're going to do is we're going to do that shape. We're going to go down at a diagonal, curve round, and then go up to a point. So we're going to start in the middle of the eyes here. We're going to go down, round, and up. Can you see how that looks like a little bit of a tear? Oh, a little teardrop. <laughs> I think a lot of people have been shedding tears over the past few weeks. I'm sure there has been. So you can do that a little bit stronger in pencil. That that bit we're not gonna rub out. And then we've got to put a cheeky little nose and a cheeky smile. Okay, so we'll do the smile first. The smile is just like this, it goes at the bottom of the teardrop, it just curves around. See how you turn that sad teardrop into a smile. Yeah. So you can see the teardrop. So, it's not focusing on them. It's okay. It goes around like that. Okay, and then we're going to do the nose, which is almost like a little bit of a rounded upside down triangle. So, that nose is just going to go above the mouth. And can you see it's almost like a little bit of an upside down triangle? 
do a little nose. Let us know if you can see us. We always hope that we got a good camera, but sometimes it goes in and out of focus. So if you are struggling sometimes, let us know in the comments and we'll see what we can do with our tech. It's looking a little bit blurry. Let me try and see if I can fix it quick. We so go. while pictures trying to fix our tech, do you know <laughs> what I'm going to do? I'm going to see if I can get one of you on the board. Do you want to get on the board? Of course you do. So, in the final part of the sketch that was aired during the Queen's Jubilee, Paddington Bear and the Queen were seen to be tapping their teacups and they were doing it in time to a famous song. Can you name the song? Famous band. What was the name of the song and the name of the band to get yourself into the prize draw? They were tapping to the rhythm. What was that beat? Do you know it? If you know it, you're going to win some prizes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's helped. <laughs> maybe, Fingers crossed. Maybe a little bit. I know it went really, really bright for a second. <laughs> okay, so we've done the face. This face is going to be a little bit more fluffy, as you, as you remember. A little bit more fluffy. You can do some little lines to, to signify that, and then you could do something like that. What we forgot, we forgot the ear. So the ear is actually in this little quarter of the circle here. It's over in this corner here. So you want to do a big curvy like backwards C shape for the ear. And another ear would be over here, but we're actually gonna draw a hat there. So he's lifting up his hat to say thank you to me. Okay. Next thing we wanna do is we wanna do this coat. Can you see how this part of the coat is almost like a big rectangle? So we like to break things down into shapes to help us get that shape better and get Paddington drawn up correctly. So we wanna we wanna do this big kind of rectangle here. It looks like a really warm coat though, doesn't it? It does, duffel coat. Okay, so we wanna do a big rectangle. Come out from the shoulders like that. So this will be like his shoulders. And then we're just going to do just a very, very gentle, big kind of rectangle for the, the main part of his coat here. So can you see this big rectangle here? He looks quite square right he looks now. looks very square. But we'll, <laughs> we'll soften him up afterwards. Well, we've got some good answers coming in. Looks like some people watched the Jubilee. They may know the answers. <laughs> Have a sip. Have a cheeky sip. Have a little pause. Okay, so we got Joshua's got some answers. Hayley Perlham's got some answers. Who else? Who else can guess? What was the name of the song mm. that the Queen and Paddington Bear were seen tapping before the end of their sketch? Ooh. Do you know it? Those taking part afterwards, you can't get involved with the prize, but you can still get involved and answer the questions at home. Okay, let's do a couple of little shapes. We're going to do um, a little kind of rectangle for this part of the arm and another rectangle for this part of the arm and then another two for these, this side. I think we have a blurry, blurry visual. Let's we'll see if we can get that even tight for you. Thanks for the heads up, Thank Marie Claire you. and Joshua. Let's see what we can do. Let's have a look. Mm -hmm. Looks a bit better on my side. Give us a thumbs up or thumbs down, guys, if it's looking any better. Okay, so we're going to do almost like this part of the arm. We're going to do another little rectangle there going up. So this is just shapes to get the shape of the coat. And then another one going at an angle there. So can you see I've done two rectangles like this. This is going to give the shape of the arm and the coat. Got a thumbs up. Yay. It's a little bit better. Thanks, guys. Let us know if we're going too fast or too slow, or if we have any blurry or any technicals. <laughs> and then we're going to do another rectangle. So this is just to get the structure of the arms like that. And then now we've got that shape, we can go all the way around and we can get that basic shape of the coat. 
So it's good to do that so you can get the joint. So this would be like the first part of the arm and the next part of the arm. Okay, let's go around that and smarten it up. We've got this little collar and hood as well, which we want to do. Should we do that first? Let's do it. Let's do a big V here like this. That's going to be V shape. Can you see that there? For the collar. Now this V is actually going to curve round like a hood here and over this side too. So it is a little bit more detailed. This one this week. We do a V and it curves around and curves around. And that's the, gonna be the hood there. Okay, time to do the coat. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go all the way around the edge of the shape that we just made. Okay, let's start from over here. So we follow this shape down, so we go down. You can press hard with your pencil now. And then we're coming down here. Getting brave now, time to press hard. And then we're going down here. And we're coming in at the bottom. Curve it round a little bit there. So it doesn't have to be so sharp. Come up. And then as soon as this rectangle is hitting that shape, we want to stop and then we want to go down here. Curve round. Go all the way around the outline. And then just curve it round for the shoulder. Then we need to start this side and just do that last little bit. Go around the shoulder. There we go. Love that. Well done, guys. And let me see if I can put somebody into the hat. We had a few answers, but somebody got it first oh. and got both of them. Not only did you say the name of the band, you said the name of the song. You said it was by Queen, and you said it was We Will Rock You. That yes. is the song they were tapping. Well done. Hayley Perham, you're on the board. Congratulations. There we go. So rub out them rectangles that we did and you'll have a nice kind of square, but that's what duffel coats are like. Coat. Okay. Next thing we're going to do, these little legs here. Then we'll do the hands, the hat and the suitcase. How tall is our little Paddington bear? But no, actually. So you'll see the dot there. That's kind of when, maybe a little bit further down, that's when it's going to start turning to a leg. So go to the middle of the coat here and do a little line that goes slightly diagonal. And then this one goes slightly diagonal too. So two lines going slightly out. Oh, sorry, I said it was Hayley Perham. Of course, it's Amira. Oh, yeah. Hello, Amira. Oh. Hello. How are you doing? Hey, Now look at these legs. Can you see they start wide and then they go thin, start wide and go thin. So let's start with the first leg. So this leg here is going thin. You want to do that same kind of shape going down to a thin point. That's the ankle there. Same with this side. Going down to a thin point like that. And then you want to do little feet. It's almost like a U shape. Down, round, up. A U. Two big U's. Two little feet. Oh, I like that. <laughs> well, I've got a question now for you Paddington super fans. Are you ready for this? You should know this. This is nice and easy. Okay, so although Paddington Bear now lives in London, he actually used to live somewhere else. Mm. Where does Paddington Bear originate from? What country? Tell me the country that Paddington Bear originates from. I only found this out recently too. I always thought it was a Londoner, it's born and raised, but Paddington Bear <laughs> was born and raised somewhere else. So let me know where does Paddington Bear originally originate from? If you know, <laughs> get on the board. I can test you now. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to do this line down the middle of the coat. We'll do some of the details on the coat. See this V? We want to just do a line going down like that. Down the middle. Kind of slightly went to 
the left a little bit. Pockets are quite easy. It's basically like a square and then a line going through it. So you want to do use this part as part of the square, go across, and then do a line at the top. It's a little bit over the halfway mark. Another square. Like this. And then a line. You've got two pockets. Love it. Loads to keep all of his special things that he likes to keep. I'm not going to say what they are because I know this is going to be one of the questions later. <laughs> You've got the fasteners of the coat. I just do a few lines like that. Nice. Let us know if the picture is still okay. Are we blurry at all? Hope you guys can see us. Okay, let's do the hat. The famous red hat. So we're going to do the Paddington's paw. So you can you see that curves round and then comes back. So curve round and come back like that. And we're going to put the hat just in this space, covering some of his ear there. So did you know that Paddington Bear's red hat is an old stained red bucket hat that he wears every single day? <laughs> Hope he washes it. Hope he washes it. It's a bit dirty. A bit dirty. Red and stained. Can he needs see? to wash it. I put a little bit of orange on there to stain it a bit. He used to belong to his uncle, apparently. Very old one. Yeah. Pastuzo. Oh. Okay, we're going to do this shape. So can you see that I'm going around this big area here? So it's, it's like a, I don't really know what that shape is, <laughs> but follow me here. So go across like that. Do it curvely, curve slightly. And then we're going down. And then we're going to go curved all the way back to the hand. Thanks Josh, saying it's a little bit blurry still. Okay, let's get on our tech team. Let's see what we can do. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this wobbly line like this. It goes out and it comes back past his ear over his head a bit, and then joins to the sleeve. Okay. Okay, so we're going out here from the bottom here, going curvy, going round past his head, and then back to the sleeve. Now, if it confuses you, you can rub out his head and the old and the ear that we kind of very gently put in. Okay. So you came out wobbly, come cross, go cross his head, don't cover his eye. Oh, I think we got a super fan. And Mira knows the whole journey of the red hat. She said it was first <laughs> explorer, then Pestizo, and then Paddington. Yes, that is correct. The red hat used to belong to his uncle Pestuzo, given to him by Montgomery Clyde mm -hmm. when he visited what country? Because <laughs> you know this is the question to last. This is the last. This is the answer. To the last question I gave you. Where is Paddington Bear originally from? A lot of you've got this mm. right. I think we got a lot of super fans in the room. Do a V, little V shape. Yeah, we have loads of fans. I think the picture's going a little bit clearer now. Fingers crossed. <laughs> it's clear on my screen. I don't know if they, maybe it's the internet connection on, on our end now. Okay, we're going to do this hand here. We're going to essentially just come down at a curve and then do the little curve. It's, it's a weird shape, but we'll, we can do it. So we're coming down here like this and then like this. So a curve this side, curve 
that side. And then we're gonna do this almost like an upside down U shape. Little hump. Hump. Cheeky little hump. The main thing is to get this bit correct and then you can really go off piste. Express yourself. And express yourself with the painting. We have got the suitcase as well. The famous suitcase. Very, very famous. We're gonna do a 3D object here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start by doing this line here, then this line here, then joining them lines up. This line here, then joining them lines up, and then this big diagonal line and straight line here. Ready? Let's do it, let's do. Has everybody caught up? Okay, if they haven't, let me give okay. someone the answer to the last question. Loads of you got it, loads of you. So I want to know, where is the famous Pounds and Bear originally from? Okay, did you know this? Did you know this? Did you know that the Paddington Bear that we know that was born in London is actually originally from Peru? Ah. Actually from Peru. So, so he was born in Peru. Born in Peru. So he really came from Peru where he was brought up by his aunt Lucy mm. after he was orphaned following an earthquake when he was oh. just a few weeks old. And when his aunt Lucy went to live in the home for retired bears in Lima, she decided to send him to England to live. Oh. I learned something new, but you guys already knew it. You knew this already. Who got it right first? Oh, Nadi got it. Joshua got it. But um, Amira, you got it first again. Go on, Amira. You're on the board. Again. Double bubble. Okay, we're doing a line here. So near the bottom of his coat, do a line like that. And then just behind the hand, we do another line like that. Okay, so a line like that. Don't go further than the hand. And then a long line like that. You want them the same length. This line and this line, you want them about the same. Okay. Then what we're going to do is we're going to join this point to this point in a diagonal line. So go up a diagonal line like that. How's your sketches coming along? This is also going to be in a diagonal line like that. It's just going to reach the hand because you can't see it behind the hand. You want it the same kind of diagonal as this here, but it's just shorter. There are a lot of shapes in this. You there said are. this is a four star rated Art Sippers <laughs> challenge. Four we out of five. So this is a hard one. So if you guys are feeling a bit, oh, this is a bit, this is a bit difficult. We're testing you guys. This is the Art Sippers Kids Challenge. We're trying to step you out of your comfort zone to try something challenging because we know you can overcome it. We do know that it's possible that kids can do drawings like this. We could have done it a lot more simpler, but why? Why? But why? Well, we know you but can. why, exactly. <laughs> okay, so we want to go down now. So do two lines going down like that. And then one line going down this side here. Don't go too far with this one. It wants to be about halfway between this line. So you want to go like that. So if you go too far with this one, it's going to look a little bit strange. So you want them about the same same length. All of these lines are about the same length. Get in there. Slow and steady wins the race. Okay, join these up across. Easy. And then this one to this one across. Look at that. You've got a nice little briefcase size <laughs> box. Got a box at the moment. We'll add another line and a handle, maybe a sticker. See, so can you see these lines here? We want to get the kind of lid on that suitcase. So we're going to do the same kind of lines just here. to so the top of the suitcase, like that, and go down like that. And this is the lid. Loving that, loving that. You can do a little bit more of a shaded area underneath that. Currently he's not holding on to it though. 
How do we make him hold on to it? He can't lose his briefcase. We're just going to do this little sausage shape here. In the hand, like that. There you go, he's holding it now. Oh, look at that, easy. Now it's not going to go walkies. You can do a little sticker as well. Sticker on the side. You did it! Oh, I think you got I missed anything. <laughs> Yay. A, cheeky, a cheeky sip. I think you might have done quite a bit. Have you done any? You can Anything do, you can that do, we're missing? You can, do, you can do the line like this for the ground. This is where I popped all the flowers. You can do that if you want, or you could do grass, or you could do pavement. With the speech bubble, you could do that too, but I actually did paint this afterwards. So I did all the background and then I painted the speech bubble over the top. So let's get on with painting Paddington, and then we can think about the background a little bit later. Before we get painting, we're going in. We're going in with right. the first dad joke. Are you ready? Let's do it. Are you ready? Okay. <laughs> Think about this one. Think about it. dad joke. It's not a real answer. I want a dad joke. Give me a pun. <laughs> Give me something that makes me laugh. You ready? What do you call Paddington without an umbrella? What do you call Paddington bear without an umbrella? What kind of bear is it? So I'm even trying to help you now. I'm trying to help you. What? <laughs> I'm gonna say no more. I'm gonna say no more. See who gets it. Go on. You can't. I'll give you an extra little tip. Okay. So first things first, we are gonna go in with the medium brush. So get that slightly wet for me. Medium brush time. And tap off the excess water. Let's go. We're gonna start with the good old trusty duffel coat. And we're going to paint this in a dark kind of blue. So if you've got your, you can use ultramarine or you can use phthalo blue. I've got phthalo blue. Um, but if you didn't have phthalo blue and you've got ultramarine, you can use that too. So you see this dark blue here? We're going to use this. I'm actually not going to use it that dark though. I'm going to mix it a little bit with some lighter blue. Just to lighten it up a little bit. So a bit of cerulean blue. So dark blue and light blue, mix it together. When I'm happy with the colour, I'm going to pop that on the coat. Okay. Start with the sleeves. Paint all the way around, very carefully in between the lines. I like to paint on top of the pencil too so we don't see that pencil. Okay, do you hear that? We're gonna paint over the pencil, so don't worry. If it's not perfect, click on the pencil line, but try and get on there so we can cover that pencil mark that we've done. Mm -hmm. Now, we might actually paint over some things like the pockets, and depending on how strong you did your sketch, you might actually lose some of the lines. I can still see it. I don't know if you guys can see it at home, but I can still see my pocket coming through. Oh, okay. It's good, but if I can't, it's fine. We can just paint it in later. The pockets weren't that hard to do. I'm going to paint all the way here, all the way to the sleeve. And then keep painting. There we go. You can see the fastening. It's quite therapeutic, this bit, isn't it? Yeah, this is where you start to relax. That's what we say art is like another form of mindfulness and meditation. Mm -hmm. So it gives you a nice little format to relax, chill out. A nice little activity on a Sunday afternoon, right? Good for your well being, yeah. 100%. Paint that B. And if you're enjoying this, remember we are on YouTube right right now. Give us a little cheeky subscribe. Subscribe to us. Follow us. Go to the Art Sippers Kids Club on Facebook. And we want you guys to share your work once you've completed your masterpiece. Mm -hmm. Sharing is definitely caring. 
I'm going to paint this little hood bit here. Need to move down. If you need to move down to your small brush, you can. Join it up. Oh, I love that. We got some good guesses already. I threw it out there. I wanted to know what do you call Paddington Bear without an umbrella? <laughs> I thought this was quite hard, and it seems to be. We've got some good guesses though. Josh has gone for unbearable. Mm -hmm. I like that. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. That's really good. Also came in with a double, came in with unprepared. <laughs> loving this, Josh. I'm loving this. This That's is like brilliant. top level stuff. It's actually better than my answer. Just saying. So just because I'm liking these guesses, I'm going to put you in the hat. That's not the actual answer I've got down on my iPad. So who can give me the answer I'm looking for? So question was, what, <laughs> forgot a question. what do you call Paddington Bear without an umbrella? That's the question. Give me an answer or just make me laugh. Either oh, one. they were really good ones. They're good. I'm liking that. Okay, nearly done. Just getting that last bit. Yeah, bottom. Sharpening up the edges. It's a bit wobbly. This is your first Art Sippers Kids. We do have so many more you that you can catch up on. And we've actually put all of them on our website now, so you can access them easily rather than having to try and find them on YouTube. You can just go to the Kids tab on our website and see previous shows, and they're all there. Every single one. I think we've done almost 20 shows. Yeah. So if you are feeling bored and you want to do some creative artwork, Join us. We've got loads. We've got things like Pikachu. We've got things like Among Us. Among Us. We've got Mickey and Minnie Mouse. We've got loads. <laughs> okay. Coat done. Double coat done. Well, it's not done, done, is it? It's not done, done. done. Do you know what they deserve? She needs it. Please get a detail in there. Wash your brush for me. Every time you dip, you have to have a cheek set. Cheeky, cheeky. Now paint the bottom of the cup. So you imagine you're just painting the bottom of the cup, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Tap on the side. And then look, still very messy. So that's where the paper towel comes in. Wipe it, clean it, clean it, clean it. If you need to go in again, you can. Make sure it's nice and clean. And we're gonna do a lot of brown now. Got brown. Them. We don't brown. use this colour much, do we? No, we don't. We do with the kids, though. We do, actually. I find that there's a lot of brown in the kids. So we've got um, brown face, brown hands, brown ear, and then the brown suitcase. We've got a case there, too. So we want to paint that all. As I said um, earlier, burnt sienna is the best brown for this. If you do have burnt umber, you can use it. Um, but sometimes it can go a bit greeny because burnt umber has a little bit too much blue in it and it can go a bit greeny sometimes. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of this burnt sienna to the side. And the thing is with brown, brown paint is actually made using all the primary colours mixed together. Oh. So the primary colours, yellow, blue and red, mix them all in equal parts together you get brown. That's something new. <laughs> so if you don't have brown, you can always do that. Um, but that means if we want to lighten it a little bit, we can use yellow to lighten it. Rather than just going straight in with the white, we can use the lightest colour out of them three primary colours. And you can actually lighten the brown. Can you see how that's gone like to a lighter brown? That really has like a chocolatey colour that is. Yeah. Oh, you're making me hungry now. It does look like Don't lick it though, guys. Don't lick that chocolate. chocolate. Don't <laughs> lick it. Please don't lick that chocolate paint. It's paint. So we want to make some of that. We don't want it too light. We're just going to add a tiny bit. We're just going to add a tiny bit of yellow to this brown. We will, we will be going lighter in a minute. But we want a little bit of our burnt sienna. Touch of the yellow in there. So it make it a little bit lighter. And we are going to paint Paddington's face, ear, legs, and the case in that colour. 
All the same color. With our medium brush. Yes. Medium brush, guys. Let's get our medium brush. But the bit we're going to miss is this little teardrop. Remember that teardrop shape? That frown that we turned that. upside down? Yes. <laughs> we're not going to paint that bit because you see in our... That's actually quite a, quite a light beige color. So let's paint the legs. We're going to fluff it up later. We're just going to do the underlay. Under painting right now. Underlay, underlay. Underlay painting. Under painting. So this is just the first layer, and then we're gonna fluff the mask. Okay, first layer, and then fluffing. That's what we're. That's what we're being told by the picture. <laughs> so a lot of you gave me some really good dad joke answers. We got another one from Emria. She says, "Unprepared." <laughs> I like it. So I'm gonna have to tell you guys. I'm gonna have to it's tell a hard you. One. This was a hard one. So the question was. What do you call Paddington Bear without an umbrella? The answer I was looking for was a drizzly bear. Oh. A drizzly. Kill it with the rain and the space and it's drizzling and it's like a grizzly and it's like a... You got it, but you didn't. I got it because I had the answer. <laughs> You'll get the next one, promise. You'll get the next one. <laughs> okay, paint them legs. Try and paint over the pencil line. If you can, move your canvas around. What about a small brush? Should I go to a small brush? You can if you want. If you're finding it too hard, you can go to the small brush. But we're going to go to the small brush to add the fluff, the hair. Oh, we got a big sipper in the room. Hello, Kit Kat. Hey, Kit Kat. She says she's on her way to badminton, but popping to say hello. Have fun at badminton. Hope you win. <laughs> <laughs> so good. That's one of our big sippers. So we do adult Love events as well. We do them once or twice a month, don't we? Every do second Friday and last Friday of the month. So if you've got any big sippers in the room with your little sippers, why not come and join us? I think our next one is next Hayley Friday. does. Hayley does. Oh, yes, yeah, she does. Oh, they, all, they do actually. Oh, they do. <laughs> Ring, they do. Yeah, so we're going to be doing our next one on Friday. It's going to be a meowster piece. Yay. So if you can guess by the name, we're going to be painting a little cat. Little Kit Kat. Yay. There we go. Look at that. Okay. And the hand. Oh, I love it. Kat says that she's playing for four hours today. Oh, that's a session. That is a long that one. That is a session. Do you know what you need? Getting her steps in. Take some sips. <laughs> some sips to, de to hydrate yourself. Not dehydrate. To hydrate <laughs> yourself. That's what you need. Four hours of badminton. That's an active Sunday. We're having a more mindful Sunday here. We're relaxing a bit of art. Well, some people get an active. Well, however you spend your Sunday, we're spreading good vibes. Use your small brush if you need to for the hand. It's a little bit more detailed. So I've gone down to my small brush. This is why it's good to have some different art tools. You get to use whatever tool is necessary for the job. So if you've got a little delicate area, why not use a small brush? Big areas, big brush. That's why we have all of them in our art box. All these goodies, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so when you're painting your face, Remember Not your actual face. Paddington's face. Uh, remember that Paddington is a little bit fluffier than we drew. So we want to do these ones a little bit more rough. Can you see that? So we're not doing it straight there. We're just kind of doing a little bit more of a rugged, rough edge. Use your small brush on the face. So is this to like, mimic the fur? Yeah, and you want to go round this bit here. We will be doing a black kind of outline to showcase the fur a little bit more as well. We want to go around the eyes. You don't want to paint the eyes. Okay, let's avoid the eyes. That's why you need to go to your small brush. Delicate areas, delicate. You might have to hold your breath. That's what happens when you're focusing. You might have to hold your breath, stick out your tongue, <laughs> make a frown. Whatever you do to get those delicate areas painted. And while you're doing those delicate areas, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna distract you. I'm gonna distract you with 
an easy dad joke. I say easy because the last one, I think, was a bit tricky. So this is an easy one. Can you get this, little sippers? What do you call a bear with no teeth? None of these. What do you call a bear with no teeth? This is easy. You can get this. You might even, you might even eat some of these. Hmm. I'm giving you a nice little hint there. What do you call a bear with no teeth? Answers in the comments, please. That's a hard one. So Josh is asking, what make is your cerulean blue? I think Josh wants to get some of that cerulean. So that is actually, um, the cerulean blue is just from the works. Is that what you're asking? Where, what, um, where is it from? Yes. I've got it here. This one, Crawford and Black. Not expensive. Yeah, big pop for that, don't you? Yeah, so it's always nice to have cerulean blue. If you don't have cerulean blue, if you've just got phthalo blue, you can make cerulean blue like this. Go on, show them how to do it. So you can push brush. So take a bit of white to the side. Get some of the phthalo blue. So you can see it's kind of getting a little bit lighter. Like this. Can you see how it's got a little bit lighter, a bit closer to the cerulean blue? Cerulean blue, I find, has the slightest touch of yellow in it. So if you grab a tiny bit of yellow, mix it in really well, it will start going a little bit more like a cerulean blue colour. And you can have it a bit darker. You can go a bit lighter. Oh, I love that. So this is how you make your own. So Mukla and Josh said, so yes, our Crawford and Black from the mall. Yeah. You're saying, but it doesn't look like the same colour. Oh. Ooh. That's weird. That's very strange. That's strange. And Kit Kat says, have a great one, guys. Can't wait Aww. to see all of the Paddingtons when they are done. Have a good one at badminton, Kit Kat. Have a good time. That's what we're saying. People want to see your creations. So once you've finished your creations, make sure you pop them up into the Art Sippers Kids Club. Yes. I will send in the link so you guys can have a little look at where this is. But when you are finished, pop them in there. We want to see it. And we might even repost it on our Instagram. 100%. I'd love to see them. So do that a little bit there. Paddington is now it's got its first layer. What I like to do is before painting the suitcase, I like to make this a little bit lighter and then I'll paint the suitcase just so it stands out a little bit. Paddington there. So you can add more yellow. Or if you wanted to, you can add a bit of orange in there. It goes a bit more of a tan colour. So you just mix that into the brown that you have. Or if you need to make it again, remember we just had the burnt sienna, yellow, mixed together. And then if you want to make it lighter for the suitcase, add some orange or some yellow. Okay, paint that suitcase. You can do that in the medium brush if you feel confident. I actually like to paint the whole Thing. We'll do the outline again later. You should be able to see your sketch through if you did it strong in pencil. If you can't, maybe quickly put more pencil, hard pencil on it so that you can see. Okay. It's all looking a bit block right now, but we will go in with the outline and detail everything. There we go, I popped in the link, so that is where you can see 
all the other Art Sippers, Little Sippers, mm -hmm. <laughs> Art Sippers Kids Club. Oh, it looks like we've got an answer. It looks like oh. we've got an answer. I threw it out there. I wanted to know, what do you call a bear with no teeth? It was too easy. It's too easy. It's too easy. I don't know it. Well, it's too easy know. for Amaria. <laughs> so the answer was a gummy bear. Oh, <laughs> a gummy. no teeth, no gum, gums, oh. gum. just only gums. Gummy bear. Well done, Amaria. You are on the board. Good. I like that one. We're on fire today. We're on fire. I like it. How did I not get that one? Got to be thinking outside the box of these answers. Oh, That's why you got to use your creative brain. <laughs> How are you guys getting on? What part are you at? Have you painted the suitcase? Does look a little bit rough and ready at this stage. Three pairs of Josh, so they got it from a multi pack, so maybe it was different. So you got your single, ah. didn't you? Has it come out darker? Has it come out lighter? Just come out completely different? <laughs> what kind of colour is it looking like? Now, the little muzzle of the bear, it's like a light beige colour. What we're going to do is we're actually going to paint a little bit of this lighter brown all over with a small brush and then we can do this little area here. The eyes are very kind of difficult to do and um, we'll do that a little bit later with a small brush. <laughs> so yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to make this lighter brown now. Okay, so you see this brown here? What you can actually do is take a little bit of white into the same brown that you just did. Mix a little bit of white in there so it goes a lighter color. See that? If you need to make some more up, you can. So remember what we did. We just added some brown, some yellow, and then we add in some white. Just lighten it up even further, giving it a bit of a more beigey kind of look. And what we're going to do is we're going to use a small brush. Get a little bit of water in there if you can. There we go. Have a little dip. When you have a little dip, what do you do? Have a cheeky dip. Cheeky sip. Add a bit of water to make it slightly runny. It will make it easier to use the small brush when the, the paint is slightly runny. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to paint that. So get your small brush. I'm just going to mix it a bit more. Get some more water in there if you need to. There you go. It's nice and runny now. Not too runny, but just a few droplets of water. A few droplets of water. And then we're going to paint this. With the small brush, just get a little bit on your small brush. Start on the legs if you want, and you can just do these tiny, really thin little lines. Oh, nice. Is this the kind of mimic the fur again? Yeah. So it looks a little bit fluffier. Fluffy Paddington. <laughs> can you see that? Oh, there you go. So you just want to fluff him all over. You can do tiny little. Dabs. Cheeky little dabs. Cheeky. Dab, 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 tiny little lines. Dab, 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 So do you do that all over Paddington? Yeah, so if you can't see your lines, that you haven't gone light enough. So you should be able to see the dark layer in the background. And then you try not to do them too close together. You do them little lines in between. And you just, if you can't see your lines, like I said, just add a bit more white. And you fluff. So while you're fluffing, I'm going to see if I can get another one of you lovely little sippers on the board. This is an easy one. 
If you're a fan of Paddington, I'm setting you up for an easy chance to win one of our Art Sippers experience boxes. Mm. This is an easy one. See this around me? This is the Art Sippers kids box. You can win it. How? By answering this simple question. What is Paddington Bear obsessed with? What is he obsessed with? Mm. There's a thing that he loves. What is it? I'll take the first answer. If you know, you know. So we're going to fluff his face. We want to do some lines going down near the chin area. You want to go upwards near the eyes, going up and out. And then you want to go sideways. Okay, so you want to go sideways on the cheeks. You want to go down on the chin, uh, on the chin and then up. On the forehead, just do loads of dabs like that. So a bit like a clock. Imagine you're pointing towards the numbers on a clock. Oh, that's a good little tip. So you kind of fan them out. Fan them outwards, yeah. And then you've got the ear. You can kind of go around the around the ear like that. Do it on the hands. Keep dabbing, dab away. Dab on the hands. Oh, it looks like we've got some super fans in the room. Mm. Got some super fans. I want to know what is Paddington Bear obsessed with? There'll be a follow up question to this one, actually. Just because mm. it looks like you guys know this too well. <laughs> Have a sip. Take Have a, a little sip. second to pause and reflect. Have you done that? Have you paused and reflected? I'm pausing and reflecting now, seeing what it looks like. So as picture is pausing and reflecting, I'm just going to go straight in and see who is the winner of this cheeky question. So I want to know, what is Paddington Bear obsessed with? And yes, you are correct. It's Marmalade. Loves it. Can't get enough of Marmalade. <laughs> actually, actually a massive fan. So he never, never without a jar in his bag. So that's what he's probably got in that suitcase. <laughs> and it's become synonymous with Paddington Bear, preserve. This lovely British preserve, Paddington Bear, come together. That is what he loves. But there's a follow up question. Where does Paddington Bear keep his marmalade sandwiches? Where does he keep them? Keeps them in a little special place. He even took one out and offered it to the <laughs> Queen, our late Queen. Where did he get that marmalade sandwich from? Mmm, bonus question. See if you can get it. Okay, so we want to do that little bit of light brown on the nose area here, the muzzle bit. What we're gonna do is we've got quite a light brown here, but we wanna make this even lighter. So I like to take a little bit of white, just a little bit of that mixture there, mix it in. So can you see how that's just a slight brown there? Very, very pastel shade. And we're gonna paint that just in this little bit here. So just grab your medium brush, mix it together. Grab some white, mix a tiny bit of that. Mix it together. Use your small brush because it's quite a small area. Get a little bit on your small brush. We're going to you see that? Paint over the nose. We'll draw that in or paint that in later so if you do have an acrylic pen or maybe even a sharpie if you wanted to you could actually do the outline in pen or you could outline it with your small brush takes a little bit longer like that so as you're saying the queen and paddington bear it's an unlikely partnership, right? Mm -hmm. Well, this is because three months ago, Buckingham Palace came up with the idea to film a sketch during the Platinum Jubilee. Mm -hmm. And it was a very heartwarming video. Was. If you haven't seen it, guys, you have to see it. It was really, really lovely. I'd say the Queen was a good actor as well. She really was. Really good. 
So I've just got a little bit of that colour, that old colour. And you can kind of just merge it in a little bit so it blends in a little bit nicer. Don't have to do that bit. And you can do some of the dabs around the face of this lighter colour and on the hand. Just add a little bit more depth and highlight. Can you see I'm dabbing quite quickly? There we go. We'll draw in the eyes and the mouth when that's a bit drier. Let's do the lovely stained hat. It is stained, it needs a bit of a wash, but it has been on its journey just like our Paddington, all the way from Peru, as we all know. We all know now. So we've got this red hat. We can use this red here. You can use a crimson red or just a kind of primary red. But this is quite bright. Maybe a little bit too bright for his uh, stained hat. So you can actually mix a little bit of orange in there. Bit of mix and blend. That will tone it down a little bit. Making it a little bit more orangey and worn out. And what I do like to do is the smallest amount, tiny, tiny amount of blue. Oh, maybe a bit too much there. Less is more. But can you, can you see that? Now it looks like a little bit of a grubby red. So like we, like we said, he's worn this hat for years and years. Doesn't wash it. Adding that tiny touch of blue into your red, make it a bit more of a dirtier red. And you can paint it all. As you're painting this red hat. Use a medium brush. Use a medium brush, Zippers. This is a massive hint for the last question. Do you know what the last question was? Of course you do. I said, where does Paddington Bear keep his famous marmalade sandwiches where does he keep them <laughs> it's not under his beret it's not under his beret <laughs> but it's something like a beret who has got the answer go on gotta be in it to win it you can move down to your small brush if you need to Start having to think about what you want to do in the background. Maybe you want to do London. Maybe you want to do the London Eye. Maybe. That's a good idea. Do Buckingham Palace. Do Buckingham Palace. There's been loads of tributes with these teddy bears all around with loads of these flowers. So this will be a nice fitting tribute. You might want to go and place one there. Place People your are leaving marmalade sandwiches too. That's a good idea. <laughs> Okay, he's looking quite scary right now with no eyes. Okay, I've got to give him some, some should give, subtleness. Should we give him some eyes? So we're now going to do the outline. This is going to start bringing some of the features out. We can bring out some of the features in the um, in the coat as well and back into the suitcase as we've lost the lid a little bit again. Um, the eyes, the ear, the mouth, the nose. Now, if you wanted to, you could use a Sharpie, a, a, a pen, a black pen. We're going to use the small brush and some black paint, but there, there's also uh, these incredible acrylic paint pens. Oh, little Posca. A Posca pen can help give good outline sometimes too. Um, you can just use that. It's actually got paint. I don't know if my one's working. Um, it's actually got paint in it and it kind of drips down through the little nozzle and you can do an outline that way. So that's also a really nice way of doing outline if you've got the Posca pen anything like that. If you don't, no worries, we've got our lovely small brush. You want to give it a good wash. And what you want to do is you want to make a little puddle on your palette. Can you see that? Of a couple of drops of water. I usually get maybe four drops of water. One, two, three, four. Why not? <laughs> I've got a little puddle there. I don't know if you can see because it's going to all over the place all over the camera 
Um, so I'm gonna then put some black paint and make some runny black paint. So you've got a nice runny black paint there. Does that make it easier to do the outline? Yeah, that's gonna make it a lot easier. So if you've got slightly runny paint, that makes it a lot easier to do the outline. Can you see how that's a little bit runnier? Now you can wash your brush again. Make sure you've got the tip, dip, the tip that of runs. your brush. Look at that. <laughs> Don't get too much on your, on your paintbrush. Less is more, little slippers. And you want to go around the legs, you want to go around the coat, you want to go around the box again. Um, when I go around the legs, I actually do it a little bit broken, so it looks a little bit fluffy. Can you see that? So I just kind of did lines like that, broken lines, so it looked a little bit fluffier. And then go around there. So it's a little bit broken, that's fine, that's good. He looks a little bit fluffier then. But the rest of it... So it doesn't have to be all really perfect, does it? On the legs, on the head, no. On the hands, no. Because he's quite fluffy. But on the coat, a little bit more. A bit more detailed on the coat. Yeah, a little bit straighter. The hands. A little bit fluffier. If your paint's still wet on certain areas like the hat, you have to be a bit careful. So try and work on the areas that aren't really wet. There you go. Can you see how I'm doing it? A little bit fluffier. Yeah, that really adds to that fluffiness effect. I like that. There we go. And then we go around the ear. Oh, he's got a little bit of a black here, hasn't he? I've just seen that. Yeah, it's got a little bit of a black inside the ear, so you can really see that then. Where you put the black. Just dab that in then, why not? Bring out the inner ear. Inner ear. <laughs> um, and then we're going to do the little V. For the coat. It's making me want to have a duffel coat. You used to have a coat like that in black. I did. I had it. I had it in blue actually, but not, not blue dark. As well. Not dark. Uh, not this kind of blue. I had it on a dark. Yeah, navy. navy. Yeah. Okay. Felt like padded. Coat. And then I used to. I didn't wear a red hat, but I used to have a red bag a lot of the time. Good color com combination. Really red is. and blue. Saying that, is, there are several statues of Paddington Bear in London. I've actually seen one of them. It was a blue one, just ah, next to the canal I've seen in that. Paddington. Really good. I think it's still there, I'm not sure. Has anyone seen one of these statues? There's quite a few around London. And when the film was out, I think they put a few more. So who has seen one of these Paddington Bear statues around London? I think some people go on Paddington Bear hunts to go and find them. Yeah, so there's there a few, isn't a there? Few. I think there might be a few more just hidden around. Yeah. I heard that there's even a Paddington Bear shop Inside oh. Paddington, and a Paddington Bear pub. Really? Just, just have a check. Just have a I check. I don't know. There's a Paddington yeah. Bear shop. I didn't see it. I missed that. I used to work in Paddington. There we go. I'm doing the coat. So straight line around the side. This bit here across. Like I said, grab your pen if this is easier for you. Now for the kids ones, I do like to leave you guys with your imagination with what to do for the background. I'll show you kind of what brushes to use to get kind of good layer on. But and I actually had to do a couple of the flowers maybe as well. But I really do like to see what you would do. Yeah, we want you guys to get creative. Like this that. is your imagination, your creativity. Pop it onto the canvas. Exactly that. And while you're doing the pockets, I'm going to tell you who got the answer to the last question. It was, I would say an easy one. If you know about his obsession, which is marmalade, you would have known where he keeps his marmalade sandwiches. His emergency marmalade sandwiches. He even gave one to the late queen. So he keeps them under his red hat. No way. That's where he keeps his marmalade. He actually did it in the sketch. He took one out yeah. and went, Do you want one now? 
So yes, <laughs> he pops them under there. I hope they're not soggy. That's all I'm saying. But well done to you, Josh. You were on the board. You got them both right. You got the marmalade and the hat right. Congratulations. Well done. Hat. I'm doing that line all the way down the middle there. Suitcase. Remember we did that. Little sausage shape in the hat. Do the line around. Hopefully you'll be able to see your original lines for the suitcase. It's okay if not. And it's really come together now. This is where it really starts to come together when you do these nice outlines. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I did say that there was a Paddington Bear shop. Yes, there is. Mm -hmm. So if you're looking for a cuddly souvenir, DVD set, books, or a random object with a bear on it, then head into mm -hmm. the lawn, which is in Paddington Station. Yeah. And it's at the station southeastern end. So the southeastern okay. end. And here you'll find the Paddington Bear shop which is the perfect place for any Paddington Bear lovers. So, let's see how I give you some good stuff. So it's in the station southeastern end. Mm. So get some goodies in there. I, I bet they're probably sold out right now, to mm. be fair. I bet they're sold out. Remember we had that little sticker. You can do a little outline of the sticker and paint that a different color. Put some of that colour, that light kind of beige colour on my palette still. Oh, that's nice. They always have that when they've gone on their travels, they have little bits and pieces of their travels, some stickers. Depending on if your face is dry, mine is, you can also do the nose. They have to be very careful, no breathing. Slow Hold steady. your breath. Hold your breath, guys. Who's using their small brush? This is for a small brush. Is it just a kind of circle? What kind of shape is so it? It's almost like an upside down triangle. So it's a little uh, okay. straight across there. Upside down triangle. It's got that kind of button nose, doesn't it? Yeah. Just round it out a little bit more. And so I've seen there are a few statues of Helen Bear in London. Apparently there's one in Leicester Square as well. Ah. So obviously there's one at Paddington train station, but apparently there's Having their statue, one of the seats in Leicester Square. That's cute. Go sit with him. Go sit with Paddington Bear. Take a little selfie. And also, there's a plaque at Paddington Station. So, if you're looking for that, it's a green commemorative plaque. And it says, as described in Michael Bond's best selling book, a bear called Paddington, Paddington Bear first arrived at Paddington Station in 1958. Scenes from his first big screen adventure, Paddington, were filmed here at the station in the autumn of 2013. So you can see the plaque there at the station too. Go on, little Paddington bear hunt. Well, I've done the... I've done the eyes. For the middle of the eyes, he's actually got brown eyes. So you can use a little bit of brown. I like to lighten the brown a little bit with yellow again. Or you can use a tiny bit of orange to lighten it. Maybe a bit more of an orangey brown. And you can do the middle of the eyes in that color. You might need to wait for the black outline to dry first, actually. You can work on them a little bit later as well. Love it. Because what you want to do is you want to get that tiny little reflection in there. You see that? So while we wait for that to dry, let's do the fastenings on the duffel coat. Nice. Just like this kind of beige, beige colour as well. Same as his. We should have done it earlier when we did his little nose. His muzzle. You can actually see if you've still got some of that colour, you can use some of that. Right? The light, the light beige color. So take some white and take some of that brown, mix it together. 
and add a little bit of yellow, just a smaller bit, and then use this color here to do very careful lines. So you want two lines next to each other, and then you do that three times. So you can do it here. One, two, and then again. One, two, one more, one. It's the perfect coat for the cold winter that's probably going to come, so. Definitely. Get Paddington Bear nice and warm. Yeah. Now you can use your big brush. The big brush. Get some water, get it slightly damp, to mix up your sky colour if you wanted to. So you can take some white. Mix a little bit of light blue in there. I guess what we're going to do for the sky, the big And then you can do this, sky. yeah, so you can just do this in any colour you want. Maybe you want to make a popping colour and do something different in the background. But what I did is I painted it all. Paint on blue. In this kind of light blue colour. Nice. I wish I'd gone a little bit lighter in my original. So this is probably how light I would actually go to make it a little bit sunnier. Take some white, mix a tiny bit of your light blue or your phthalo blue. And then you just paint the whole thing. Get Let's a little do it. bit more water. If a you've got a water. bigger brush, you can use a bigger brush. But what you want to be careful of is, is when you get to good old Paddington here, you have to be careful. You have to go very carefully around the lines, around his ear, around the hood. So this is where you can really lap it on, get really, really expressive with it, pop that all in the background. Yep, and don't forget to do things like a little bit under his arm here too. Oh yeah, here. miss those little bits. Go to the small brush and do that though, and then under here too. And if you are painting on a canvas, make, make sure you paint the sides, all of the sides, and even yep. the bottom as well, because it will look good when you hang it up on the wall. Yes. You can look at every angle and go, ooh. I did that. <laughs> <laughs> it will look nice and neat. 100%. Or you can frame it. Gift it to someone. You have to gift it to someone. Art is about sharing or keeping, not hiding. <laughs> so you always have to share it or pop it up so you can always look at it and be proud of yourself. And when we say share, we just mean show it to someone. Exactly. Take a picture. Send it to someone. Send it to your nan. Send it to your mum. Always share your artwork. Always share your creativity. I'm going to see if I can get another person on the board. This is for... The super fans, the super, super fans. I'm going to throw it out to you. Do you know when Paddington Bear's birthday is? I'll say it again. Mm. When is Paddington Bear's birthday? Yeah. If you know, you know. Is it a bit of a trick question? Maybe. When is Paddington Bear's birthday? You have to be a super fan to know this. If you know, you know. Let me know. Hmm, I don't know this one. So you can completely paint all your background. You can do all this area here too. I'm not going to do the whole lot. As I said, I like you guys to kind of get creative and do your own thing. But you can paint the whole background. You can do some rainbows. Oh, we had a double rainbow, didn't we? The day yes. of the Queen's passing. It was a special moment. But the red, orange, yellow, green, blue. So you can actually just do a little bit of red. A little bit of orange, a little bit of green, a little bit of blue, maybe a bit of purple, like that. And the flowers, really easy to do these kind of flowers. You mix up some green. How do we make green? Oh, for now. I think I know. Have a sip. Green, made from two primary colours. Green is made from yellow and blue. Of course it is. You can make a dark green by mixing the yellow and the dark blue. See, that's a dark green. Or you can make a lighter green with yellow and the light blue. Different greens. And that's quite good because what we're going to do to do the flowers, if you wanted to, you dot lots of the light green, lots of the dark green, and then you... Do lots of dots of pinks and purples and whites and oranges and yellows for the flowers. 
So you can get the dark green and the light green. You can dab like this. Dab that in. All over the place. This will be similar to all the flowers that have been left all over Buckingham Palace. Yeah. And they've got lots and lots of these cuddly toys placed around. Apparently there's lots of sunflowers as well. Oh, is there? People are saying a lot of sunflowers. Aww. So maybe it was a special flower that the Queen loved. There we go. So you can do that all over. And then you go in with the light green. Go all over as well with the light green. So what size brush on this one? I'm using the medium brush for this, but I'll probably use the small one for some of the flowers, but you can literally get them all over. I love this. That's a nice little Put technique. So I threw out how, not how many, what date is Hampton Bear's birthday? You've got Marmalade Day <laughs> by Emery. I like it. It's a good guess. That is a good guess. That's not the answer I'm looking for. When is Paddington Bear's birthday? Once you've added the green, we want to add some of the flowers. So you can use your pinks. You can you can make a baby pink by mixing red and white together, or red and pink or rose together. You can make a lighter, lighter purples and pinks. And you can just start dabbing them as well. So you can use your medium brush or your small brush, completely up to you. Because there's so many, there's not much detail in all these flowers. Some dark pink. This way you can get really expressive. Add the colours that you love. Purple's my favourite colour. Throw it in there, why not? Pinks, purples. Oranges. Oranges, all the colours of different floral colours that will look lovely. Yep, maybe you want to go for a darker purple. And yellow. Throw it in there, why not? It really does look like a carpet of flowers. That's what we're trying to emulate with this lovely, lovely foot in that pattern. There are so many. On. There are so many. There's probably hundreds of thousands <laughs> of flowers that have been left. Yeah, so yellow, you can make a light yellow, you can go in with a bright yellow. Can you see that? Who's doing a different background? What's your idea? Or are you going to leave it as a surprise and show us later? Show us later, guys. Remember, send them in to the Art Sippers Kids Club. We want to see your creations. I think I gave you guys a really hard one. I don't think anyone's going to get this one. It is a bit of a trick question. Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. I have to trick you guys now and again. So mm -hmm. let me see if I can give you guys the answer. Okay, so you can continue that at your own pace. I like to do a tiny dot of black in the middle of the eye and then a tiny dot of reflection in the eye too. So you might want to use your pen. So I've got two little eyes there. If it's too dark, just lighten your eyes up with a lighter colour and then you can do a little reflection, just a tiny little white dot. Very delicate, but it makes a big difference. And of course, I don't know how dry your background is, but you can add your own speech bubble. Do it. We've got a nice speech bubble. This was left by Paddington Bear's Twitter account. It was, thank you, ma'am, for everything. Really nice, poignant message. What do you want to put in there? Well, that's kind of what he said at the end of the sketch as well that he did in the Jubilee. He said thanks to the little video. Um, so thanks to the Queen then as well. So there's a little tip when doing these speech bubbles. Ooh, little tip. That is to write the writing first <laughs> and then do the speech bubble around it. If you do it the other way around, sometimes it can be a little bit harder to put your, put your writing inside. So what you do is you write it and then you go bubble and then do a little point. It's a good tip. So That's write really your tip. writing first. So what are you going to write? Think about it. Write something the one that's going to match the painting. You have to make sure, though, is that your background's dry. Mine isn't. I should have painted on this side to show so you. So fan it down, <laughs> get your hair dry, whatever you need to do before you pop on your speech bubble. Yeah. And I'll quickly let you know, guys, what the answer was. So have a little cheeky sip. I want to know when Paddington Bear had his birthday. So like the Queen, did you know this? 
Paddington Bear has two birthdays, not one, but two. So he celebrates on the 25th of December and the 25th of June. This is oh. because when Paddington Bear arrived to 25th the UK, of what? December. 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 Because when he arrived to the UK with the Grand family, he couldn't remember his birthday. <laughs> so they decided to celebrate twice. Why not? <laughs> Just like the Queen. Two birthdays. <laughs> Very similar, those two. There we go. Okay, and guys, you can really take it step by step and just add your own little thing. Make sure, as I said earlier, to paint underneath. I'll do it now. Underneath the arm in between the arm too oh i didn't do the outline on the hat oh that's important hat. don't forget that oh i think amira you just snuck in there and got one didn't you you said december and ah june 25th do you know what i'm gonna give you that, well I'm, done. Gonna give you that. I'm gonna give you that well done amira well done. cheeky cheeky just snuck in there the answer Proper super fan, fan. Okay, there's the hat. So final touches now, guys. As Pitcher said, finish up your bubble, do your rainbows, all these little bits and pieces, do them in your own time so that you don't have to rush. And once you've finished, send them in to the Art Sippers Kids Club. Outline them. These bits too. How have you done? Let us know. How, how are you getting on? Has it been difficult? Has it been quite easy for you? Maybe you found it really easy. Easy, exactly. Let us know. This was a bit of a tough one. We said four stars out of five. So this is a real challenge. So if you are doing amazingly, congratulations. If you're taking part, congratulations. Everyone is a winner just for taking part in Art Civics Challenge. Because it is all about creativity. Oh, there's a good... Um, <laughs> you can also um, write it and then... You've got to paint it white. Remember that you paint it white, otherwise it will be the colour of your background. Ah, makes sense. That's what I forgot to say. So, of course, it's white. So you can kind of write it. I painted white over the top so I could still see it through. And then I just did the outline. I think it's time to do the competition. So I think so. Well done, everyone, for taking part in the Art Sippers competition. Yes. And I put everyone's name in the hat to answer correctly. So... Okay, we'll pop them back in. So, we've got names inside. I'm gonna give it a big shake. Who is the winner of this Art Sippers Kids Experience box? It's all the goodies you need for a virtual experience of paint at home. Here we go. Who's gonna pick for me picture? Yes. There we go. Bam, 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 bam. Fingers crossed. Who's it gonna be? It's Who's Joshua! It? Joshua! Congratulations, Joshua. You are the winner of the Arts of Challenge today. Lost my voice. I shouted too loud. Lost my voice. Lost my voice. <laughs> going for it. I hope you had a brilliant time today, guys. Yes. I hope you've done some beautiful Paddington paintings. We can't wait to see them. Make sure you send them, whether it be on Instagram, or to Arts of Kids, or into our Facebook page. Loads of places. <laughs> Arts of Kids Club. And send you can it. find it. Yeah, and we'd love to see it because we can't see it. We can't. We can only see ourselves, which isn't the greatest <laughs> thing on a Sunday afternoon. But thank you so much, guys, for joining us. Stay curious. And stay creative. And share your art. Well done for taking part in the Art Sips Kids Challenge. Well done. Sip, sip. Hooray. <laughs>